were pessimistic. Remember, a dozen years had gone by. Mud and silt and wear and tear could very easily make working conditions impossible. But Diver Johnston had high hopes. He was out to prove his optimism was warranted. He must have been an expensive when he made his first descent in the improved garden seminar. And what were his first impressions? I was really surprised after 12, 13 years, I expected to find a lot of marine growth and mud. And uh, much to my surprise, he didn't see much different uh, to when I left him, except that uh, some of the decks, of course, have collapsed in the immediate uh, vicinity of the... And so began the second salvage operation. The prize was still large. 35 bars worth 175,000 pounds. Plates were ripped from the Niagara. Silk was lifted by cats from the bullion wood. The work was slow and tedious. It began in April. The weather was frequently bad, and the divers could not operate. We were surfaced to go aboard the Foremost 17 for a quick look round. I'm speaking from the deck of the Foremost 17. This vessel is actually one of the six operated by the salvage company. It's quite an old ship, and was built about about two years ago, and it looks, well, very worth the life. We're surrounded by winches. These winches are at all angles set on the deck. Amongst them is the built-in 12-ton steam winch, which is used to raise and lower the diver in his observation chamber. So we're going to expose the most powerful piece of uh, machinery on board. The diver's a piece of mind is concerned, but I know that I, personally, if I was in that observation chamber, would be extremely concerned about the efficient working of this piece of machinery. Now, to go back to the ship itself, it's commanded by Captain J.D. Sarkin, who has a complement of 32 British seamen. The ship's 174 feet. In some ways, it's rather an odd looking vessel. The superstructure is built well back to allow plenty of room for working on the forges. This is, you must remember, essentially a working vessel. Now, during this present operation, the foremost 17 has had some pretty tough weather. On many occasions, it's been forced into one way harbor for shelter. But to me, this morning, it looks in pretty good shape.